Hmm. Okay, guys, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So, what a dump, huh? Yes, I wasn't expecting this dump, this huge dump, but we had we we had seen some signs right uh, not a lot of uh, interest here on this region where i mark this support here where we had those algo targets here minus 33 60 percent minus 38 20 percent this would be roughly the region of 405k uh, broke through it easily and this was 100 percent for our wave c and this is 4700 uh, I said that this would be our target, right? 4,700, the first target, but then we just broke through it easily. The mark just didn't show interest in this region. Of course, right? We are not. We, we are trying to to. We are trying to figure out figure out what's happening here. So I'm changing now here those resistance, those support into resistance. Okay. This is what's happening now. Okay, not a lot of uh, history. If you if you look at the right of the, the, the chart here, you don't see a lot of indecision around this region. So I wouldn't see that we are now in a, in a, in a really comfortable spot to call a, a support or anything. But this is not, this is now become a resistance. And the market didn't show any interest in stopping here, okay? Around the the 5K 4700. 4, so 100% of extension for a wave C, it's not where, where the market is going. So, um, and then we have this huge support here. This support here, I think that the market is showing some interest, as I pointed out uh, yesterday, okay? <laughs> And uh, I would start disregarding this one, two, three, four, five here just for a sec, okay? Why? Because I started to, to consider that such a huge dump like this, uh, if we just have a one, two, three, four, five, we would need to go really deep, like 2K. Okay, I don't know if you guys are following me, but if this is our if this is our wave one, and I I, I have all the, the the piece of information here to 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 imagine that Bitcoin is gonna stop here, 4K, and then if we have a, a um, some kind of retracement like this to 6K, and then if we are to see any kind of a movement for a wave three, then it would be 3K or even lower then a retracement testing this support here which is then gonna be a resistance and then we would see like 2k easily this would be a a, a, a nasty bearish market it's not it's actually it's it's likely given the given the parabolic movement that we had in 2017 and given that we spent 1000 days or even more in this whole movement this this is this is our wave 5 here we 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 have finished his whole this uh we have finished this whole movement right just like we see here at macd we fin we finished this whole movement here we are in logarithmic scale okay we finished this whole movement here now we are correcting this this huge parabolic movement here that took years, 10 years, right, to finish. So now if you think about time, like I I, I am used to do, I, I'm, I'm always analyzing in time as well. So we are now 339 days. Is that so? 309, today is the, the 20th. So no, I'm, I'm sorry. I haven't I didn't update this one yesterday I'm sorry okay so we are 339 days in this correction so 34 percent roughly okay a bit more on we are this is our anniversary right 
of this correction and it's not gonna stop. But I'm starting to think about it, to, to take into consideration the possibility that this is ending here. This is somehow ending here, the C is in here, and then we would somehow, um, we would start a new, uh, we would have a trend reversal here. Okay, why? Just a personal, honestly, this is a personal and, and uh, a feeling because the market, it's it's that low here at the RSI. It has never been that low. It, this is the lowest RSI that we have seen in Bitcoin. Lowest, nine. It's really oversold. Everyone is selling Bitcoin, right? Everyone, this is the beginning of the, November 11th, okay? This is the lowest RSI ever. Oopsie, I'm sorry. It has never happened, such a lower RSI. This is a nine. In OBV, the on balance volume, okay? The on balance volume, this is the lowest on balance volume since, 2000, since January 2016. So what's happening guys? It's a really oversold situation. So um, it might be, it might indicate a trend reversal. Such a oversold levels here and here, and especially the time that we are in the, uh, we, we are at the end of the year. I don't know, we might have a reason behind it. Okay, that we are not seeing, that in that we are not gonna understand until we, until it happens, okay? And uh, I'm talking about a, a geopolitical reason, a, a something a, a economic, a something in reality, and it's happening in that we are, we don't, we don't know exactly, okay? So we might as we we might as well short whatever we want here, but we need to take into consideration uh, what the market is responding to. Okay, and I think that the, this bear sentiment, when it broke, when I said that it that that it broke 6k here with confidence, that was the sentence, right? Uh, it, this was the the 6k, right? This is what this was the resistance. This region here, guys, that we have been that we have been holding. Let me take this out here and and, and mark it again with a box. This region here, guys, we have hold this. Okay, this was like the last, the last, uh, the last support that it has been uh, forming since December. This was really trying once, twice, tw twice, uh, three times, four times, and then we broke. Okay, and when we broke, this is what we see. Okay, it's shattering through all the the, the supports. The, pre the this support was not so strong. This support here, this was what, uh, 5,200. Uh, we stopped there, but it wasn't strong enough to, to have a significant bounce. I was wrong. I said that we would have a bounce here, but no, the 4,700, another target, bam. Okay, so all those, those targets here, now they are resistance and we are approaching this 4k target here which i think this is uh, this is what this is a a really strong target for for the market to pay attention the market shows some interest here okay and we need to account that this is a uh, this is a place where we have a lot of all targets just to name only a few we have one two three and we are approaching the seven eight sixth 786 retracement uh, Fibonacci. What is this? The 786. Okay, the, I took here. From this point here, the lowest point, which I called the wave two, and to this point, from this point to the highest point, here we have the. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Oopsie. Uh, see here, 786. This this Fibonacci retracement here. This is from this point here, the highest point that happened last year in December, from the 2015 here, right? January 15, 
from this swing swinging I'm sorry it's actually it's lower right no no that's true it's from this January 15 here to the September to December here okay 20k here then we are approaching what 786 uh, this is not a coincidence guys okay the market is is, is if, if we see a pattern we need to account for this pattern we need to respect those patterns so we are the market is definitely going to have some kind of reaction upon touching the 786 region here this is what I would call wave 2 okay uh, this is my my whole count okay this is a 1 this is a 2 this is a bit Phoenix unfortunately but okay 1 2 so swinging from this point here to this highest point here is this uh, Fibonacci retracement here so um, 786 and 887 we are approaching this 786 this would be our one of a, a, a higher degree the highest degree this would be primary oh sorry intermediate and then we are we are now putting in this wave two which is really really similar if we look at this one two and this one two look at this guys look at the, those fractals remember self similarity is a really important thing in markets and in life self similarity fractal like structures so if we look at this structure here and this structure here one two again the same the same one two oh my goodness it's, it's really similar okay it's really similar i think that we, what we had here was also a wx y x z this was like a two years period of retracement now of course we are getting i'm sorry i'm marking this happening there yes a really rather <laughs> rather shorter in time retracement compared to this one but of course this was the beginning of the coin this was the beginning of the asset now we are talking about uh, an asset that has a that has had uh that had sorry this huge third wave fifth wave and finished the first intermediate wave so can i call it the, the end of the correction when upon touching the 786 no i can't okay i can't call it it's i'm just saying that i need to take into account the possibility that it might be the end of the correction okay the market is driving the price to, to this region here and in this case i would see okay let's let's uh, that's depend then when it happens because it probably is going to happen this week we're going to touch this support here we're going to touch the 4k region um and then of course we need some kind of bounce the RSI is tickling is, is touching here uh, historical lows it has it has established a new all the time low so a bounce is needed but the market doesn't care about our indicators does it it doesn't so we have this 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 is my Elliott wave count and the market disregard the Elliott wave count what what we can do here is try to figure it out and find patterns that help us out we are what we know in the in the in the whole picture here is that we have an a b and a c and that we are approaching the 127 20 percent of the ext extension a through b so this is the sweet spot for our wave c so if we touch it here I think and I and I feel that the market is gonna have an incentive to just trend the, just reverse the trend but you're not gonna have all the the information for that available for us at the at, at the first moment of course not okay so let me just take a look at the other targets that we might see here no this pivot here from this pivot high to this pivot low we have those targets here let's see other targets from this highest point here 
x to the lowest here we have you see guys the minus 33 minus 38 all those targets has been hit which hasn't which hadn't been hit so far remember i have been calling that oh all those targets down here they were not hit we had the 50 percent but not the the all targets down below but now we are hitting all those targets probably not this one yet let's see This one here is a really crucial one, but it's, you see guys, minus 33, 60% is really low. This would be a, a a target that I would consider. I need to consider this target actually. Uh, now that we are in this situation, right? When we are seeing such a movement, such a dump, such a weakness in the market to hold the coin, to hold the asset, sorry. Um, so here is the 50%. So here is the minus 33, 60%, and then we have nasty targets here. Of course, we would have a negative target probably for the minus 618, okay? Or I haven't turned it on, let me see. No, no, it's really negative. So, <clears throat> okay, this is the 50%. This is would be our last target, okay? I'm swinging from this highest point here to this lowest point here. Now, from this point here to this point here, okay, from this pivot high here would be X to this, uh, I would see, I would say that this is the pivot low from this X here, but let's face it, it's the same thing almost, right? So it gives a lot of confidence for us that this is gonna be a really huge support. Now, we are touching this minus 33, 60% of this pivot high here to this lowest point here, another 50% here, okay? 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Remember that pattern that I said that would be, that was diminishing, that was, that we had, that not only this geometric pattern here, but this Fibonacci retracement here was getting uh, tighter and tighter until we, of course, the market need to decide and it decided breaking to the downside. And now we are approaching all those algo targets here, guys. Minus 33, 36% done. Now minus 33, 6% done. And it's about to hit minus 38, 20 from another pivot, this pivot here. Then of course we have what? The 127, 20% for our ABC. So I would consider, it would be wise to start considering a trend reversal, okay? Touching the C here and finishing the correction here. I don't like this solution. I don't like, and I think that my bearish, my bearish uh, bias would be to say that yes, this is wave one and we are gonna have a nasty correction touching this 8087, okay? Nevertheless, I need to, to think out of the box and start to account that this might be the case, okay? So the, the end of the correction would be, would sh the shape of the correction would be, like, would be like this, sorry. Okay? W, X, Y, X, Z. We would finish it here. Okay? Would. It doesn't mean that it ought to, to happen, okay? We don't, we, don't, we don't have such a thing as ought for the market. Okay, this would be our C. We don't know, guys. That's the thing. We don't know. Okay, uh, that depends on the on the, how the market reacts upon touching this level here. This would be 4K, guys. 4K would be a, a, a really um, crucial support. Crucial. And all those resistance here. How is uh, how are we are gonna react to those resistance if we just shatter through all of them? So then the market is re inter the market sentiment is gonna turn to the to a, a, a bullish one, at least for the for the end of the year, okay. But for the moment, for the present moment, what we have is a oversold asset, okay. 
and a, and a geometry of the market that is in the, that is indicating that we might be approaching the end of this cycle here of this wave two. Okay, um, this just just in order to finish this video, I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot about it because just because I, I love bearish markets, we learn a lot. Uh, we we learn a huge deal about about assets and about the markets when we we face a, a bear market, a real bear market. So this is my two my four hour chart. Okay, look at this huge volume of uh, selling pressure. Okay, huge volume, and we have what what here one two three four five five has if this is a one two three four five five now is the 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 longest wave this is the extension i am projecting wave three here through four here and this is the 100 percent so wave five is the longest so this is another piece of information when we have uh such a long wave five it's when we are approach it's in Eli in the elliot wave principle it's one indication that we are approaching the end of a cycle or or that it's gonna bounce. Um, it, it, it's it's about to bounce, but it might be just be taught. We are what we might be seeing here is just the wave one. Okay, this is not an ending diagonal, of course not, because all the people that's calling this an ending diagonal, though they they don't understand what is an ending diagonal. I'm sorry, because we can't have an ending diagonal with such a, a when we have a. a Wave when the fifth wave is the longest, okay, it's 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 quite the opposite. Wave fifty is rather short when we have an ending diagonal. This is not an ending diagonal. This is a motive impulse wave going down, and probably is gonna hit this 127 20 percent here. This is the target, guys. All the it's a lot of confluence, and, and uh, again, I would ignore this one, two, three, four, five for the moment. Okay, I won't ignore this pitchfork here because it has contained the movement, but I thought yesterday that it would stop at this median line here and it just ignore it. So we don't have a support hit here. We don't have a support. What we have here is a resistance. Now it's a resistance. Again. Okay, we just just ignore it. <laughs> Ignored my my support here, my, not my support, but ignored this uh, this algo targets here. Just sold through it, and now we are approaching this minus six one eight here. We are approaching this minus thirty eight twenty percent, and those huge confluences here, where, which I marked here, that would be our wave three. So that's why I'm thinking about a trend reversal, some something different than I have been proposing. Okay, so. Bear in mind that this is uh, this is not a bug in the system. This is the system, okay? The system is a system of bugs, a system of weird uh, behavior. Not a uh, this is not a bug at the, to the least, okay? This is how the market should be, not should be, but this is the mar how the market is. So <laughs> don't call this movement weird because people are panic selling here we have institutional money pouring in and, and it started to sell something must happen of course something some kind of bounce must happen and then if you're gonna have some kind of deeper wave here going down hmm, this is gonna be definitely another uh, for another video guys okay I I'm sorry but I can't really I can't really hold this one, two, three, four, five. I can't. So, not for the moment. Not until I see some kind of bounce here to those regions here, to those resistance, and difficulty and uh, and uh, another stall. If I see Bitcoin going up here and stalling for time, going sideways here, like middle of uh, 2019, next year. And we are still in these regions. Then I'm gonna consider a wave three, four, five. Okay, that's the picture for me. Otherwise, I think that we're gonna get to the 4K here. This is our target, 4K here. And then we're gonna bounce and then 
perhaps have a training reversal. Start wave three. It's difficult to call it a, a reversal. Of course, in a bear market like this, I'm gonna be always a bear, not a bull. Okay, and I prefer to be a a, a bear in a bull market always. Okay. Um, this is the whole picture of it, and I. That's it. That's enough. If you have questions, you can always ask. And if you haven't joined us in our Discord group, is the Crypto Trader Educational Institute. The link is in the, is in the description. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like my content, and I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be really really happy. Um, and if you haven't followed me on social media, on Twitter, please consider doing so. I am always trying to keep you guys updated there. Okay? Thank you very much and see you guys next one. Enjoy this bear market because... Come on, right? Who doesn't like lower prices? <laughs> Cheers!